Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're doing a little bit of a different project. This time we're going to be power coating Brembo brakes, calipers off of a Mustang. So stay tuned. We're going to go through the whole sandblasting process on these. We're going to bake them in the oven. We're going to tape these up. We're going to blast them with some neon green powder. And then we're going to finish them off back in the oven. So let's get to it. Got these little silicone plugs. Before we hit the sandblast, we don't want to get any sand in a couple of these little O-ring holes. Yes, for this side, this side, and this plugged up. That's good. And that is done, and the brake. These are plugged up, ready to go. So we can take them to the sandblasting and get this process started. Let's start with this one for fun. Okay. See how it goes. Right, so we're plopping in this piece into the sandblasting cabinet. That's the front of the best of the back, right? This is the back. Okay. So we can hang it. Here, cut one of those ends off. I was gonna just make it really, really small. For that, option B. So that's been in there 10 minutes. I'm gonna let it go for a while. Probably stick this in there at the same time. All right, now we're ready for caliper one, part two. Whoa the blast of the freaking stuff in your face. That doesn't matter right now. Nope. We'll hang good. them the other way when we hang them in there. Just cleaning the insides to get all the brake juice out before we throw them in the sand blaster. That helper of yours didn't do a great job cleaning them at first. Oh, air hose. It helps that the air hose is hooked up. Need more power. We'll get all the imperfections, like if there's any oil dripping out, we'll uh... Yeah, it looks, that looks pretty good. Yeah, when we bake it. So, not too bad. We're doing good. And I just did this. Just enough to hook on. One hour later. Right now we're gonna pull the calipers out of the oven and hang them up so they cool down a little bit. And now we put the other ones in the oven. So they went in right about eight. So about 8.40 we'll pull them out. Okay. Let those cool for a couple minutes. And then we'll lay them down and just start taping them taping up. Taping them off? Yeah. Okay. So we're going with this lime green from Eastwood. You can read it right there. Right now we've got the two calipers. They just got gassed. They're sitting out there cooling. Once they're cooled down, we're going to tape them up. The other two calipers are gassing in the oven right now for about 45 minutes. Once everything's done, we're going to start shooting some color. So Robert, tell me about your car here. It's 2016 Competition Orange Mustang GT. It's 93 octane tuned with Lund Tune. Texas Speed Headers, Free Flowing Exhaust, MBRP Race Cat Back, JLT Intake. Of course, it's got the MT82 transmission in it, which everybody hates, but I still love it. It's been lowered with CJ Pony Parts Progressive Springs. 
Even though it's a base package, I still put in the work and brought it up to a performance pack. It's got the leather interior. It's got a few little upgrades to it. Right now we're working on replacing the front calipers. We painted those in the lime green with uh, VHT paint, but now with the help of Phil, we're going to do the lime green powder coat to make it perfect. Pop in the hood. I'm actually in the process of having the cover painted with the new coil covers. They're going black with the orange stripes with the orange lettering, keeping a little bit of that lime green theme to it. All right, so these are pretty much cooled down at this point. So we're gonna take these from here. We're gonna set them over here on the blanket, getting them ready to spray powder on. So Robert's got the one right there. And we're just gonna set these up right over here. We've gotta plug a couple holes, get some bolts in the holes, get some tape. Because when we powder these, we do not wanna get powder inside the piston ports. So we wanna make sure we tape those off correctly. These came out really good, the sandblasting and baking. They look really good. Pretty soon, they're gonna be bright and shiny green. How's it look? Looks good. Looks real good. I said, now we just do is just tape these off and we should be good to go. First, plugging up the ports we don't wanna get powder coating in. Got one side like that, I just cut really close to the edge just to keep the mating surface pretty much powder free. Ooh, oh yeah, all right, so. so. It's time to remove these from the outgassing process. Everything looks really good. Right now, Robert's just cutting around where the pistons go for the calipers. Using this high temperature tape to tape off all the spots we do not want powder coat. So I'll just cut right along the edge there. Right along the, yeah, because we need, we need all this <clears throat> closed. go so this side looks like it's pretty much ready to go that side's ready now we just tape Anything off these this side. So we're using the Eastwood dual voltage powder coating system right here. I've got the green powder in the gun already, about a third of the way up. I've got my regulator set to 10 PSI. We've got the part hanging in here. It's clipped on, so we have a ground. I can spin the part nice and easy. So there's a trigger over here I have to hold right here. I depress this and it energizes the part.
Ready for part number two. All right. Robert's hanging the front half of that caliper into the paint spraying box. We've got a fan sucking it through into a filter. It seems to be working pretty good, so we're gonna keep going with what we're doing. On to the next one. Ready to put it in the oven? Yes, sir. All right. Let's do this. One, two, go. All right, so that dropped down to about 275. That's fine. <laughs> now we wait about 40 minutes or so. We'll check the temperature in probably about 20 minutes, make sure it's up to temperature like it should be. And we should start seeing it flow out. Here we go. So now we need to start actually taping up the other set of calipers. Oh, they're still warm. So at this point, everything's taped up on the second set of calipers and we're just about ready to pull the calipers out of the oven right now. I think we've got, you know, seven minutes left. So in seven minutes, we're pulling those calipers out. We did a little sneak peek and they look mint. Ready? Ooh, baby. They sexy. Number two. Ready? One, two. So we're ready to start the second set of calipers right now. I just added more powder to the gun. Like that I know, I like that. Not even, you could have done a matte neon green. We want to check that. Oh, I didn't wear my mask the whole time. Wear your mask when you're powder coating. Okay, ready? Let's put it in the hot box. Ready? Ready. Yay. One eternity later. So just to give you a little overview of my paint spray booth, this is actually the box right here that the actual smoker came in. It's a master built smoker. Probably see it on the side. Nope, you can't. The part number was 0865425. I basically just used the box. I cut the box out. I put in the back here as a furnace filter. Up at the top of the box right here is a piece of threaded rod that I welded to a nut. 
And if you go up to the top of the box right here is where I clip the ground clip onto for grounding out the part that hangs from the threaded rod down below. So when I spin this up here like this, I can spin this around, the threaded rod down below will spin so I can actually coat the part nice and easily. Here is the actual Eastwood dual voltage powder coating system that I use. For the calipers, I had on high voltage because they are thicker. This is the powder coating gun right here. I have a little hanger on the side of the box that I hang the gun on when I'm not using it. Here's the trigger. You have to hold the trigger down to energize the part when you're powder coating so the powder actually sticks to the gun. One thing I forgot to put on, as I should, was my respirator. When spraying powder, you want to make sure you have your respirator on. Even though this box does a really good job sucking all of the powder into the back of the box, I just got distracted, forgot to put that on. It was not good, so make sure you wear your respirator. Don't do like I did. To clean all this green powder up in the box, I'll just use a shop vac, suck it all out. On the back side of this filter here, I actually have a box fan, and it just helps blow. You can see it didn't, that filter helped. There's not a lot of green or anything on, on the back side of the box, but it was sucking all that excess powder into the filter, so I'll suck that filter clean with the shop vac. Over here, we have my Masterbuilt smoker. Um, it's basically just a smoker that is dedicated for powder use. You do not want to use a smoker for food after you've done powder coating. That's a big no-no. So basically, all I did to modify this box was I took this interior panel out and I insulated the entire box with high temperature insulation. Instead of putting the racks in here, I hung a rack up here towards the ceiling and that's what I actually hang the parts on when we're hanging them to powder coat in here. So this is, runs on 120 volts. I usually just max out the temperature in the box, which will get up to right around probably about 420. And I just let it rip at that. The downside of this is once you open the door to put parts in there, it does take a little while for it to heat back up again. So I found that I'll put my parts in there. I'll set my timer for 45 minutes. And that seems to be the perfect time to actually glass out the parts and fully cure the powder. So as you can see, these things came out absolutely mint. So we're gonna take them off the hangers right now. I've got them hanging just on these ladders, just so I had a place to cool down. So we're gonna take these off the hangers. We're gonna set them up onto the moving blanket right here so they don't get scratched up. And we're gonna remove the bolts and everything and remove the high temp tape from these right now. So then these things will be 100% completely done and Robert can come pick them up. It got late last night, so he just left them here to cool down. He'll be back today to grab them. These things came out absolutely awesome. We took the bolts here, protecting these threads out already it came out really good if you look at that look at the green it just shimmers super clean it's the front of the one caliper came out really nice so we gotta take the, the heat tape off the back side where the pistons go You can still see this one still has the bolts in it right here. We got to take these bolts out. That's just protecting the threads to keep powder off of them. This is the back side. We just powder coated a couple of the bolts because we wanted the tips of these to be green. So when they actually bolt through from the back side, you're going to see the tips of them. So they're going to be nice and powder coated the same color green. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually remove the hanging brackets off these and we're going to start removing the tape.
All right, everyone, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. As you can see, the Brembo calipers came out 100% perfect in lime green from Eastwood. These things are powder coated all around on the fronts and the backs of the calipers. All Robert has to do now is bolt these together, reassemble them with the pistons and seals, and they are 100% good to go. These things look absolutely mint. Everything came out absolutely perfect just as we planned it. So to go over everything that happened, Robert disassembled these before bringing these over. We then sandblasted all four of these parts. We threw them in the oven for outgassing because you want to get all the oils and stuff out of the metals if you can. Once they were done with outgassing, we taped up all the spots we didn't want to have powder coat on them, especially the mating surfaces and inside the pistons. We taped those all up with heat tape and then we sprayed them with powder and baked them in the oven. So as always, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Smash that notification icon down below so you know when I do post future videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.